Welcome back to yet another video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make one of my favorite burgers ever, or well, besides my own. Anyone who's tried Shake Shack knows how amazing they are. I've tried it in two countries and both times I've been obsessed. One of the things I love about Shake Shack is that they're able to make a classic burger which is simple with great quality ingredients without using any of this fancy unnecessary stuff, you know? And that's something that I've emulated into my own business. I like to use fresh quality ingredients and we make sure we put love into the burger so that it tastes great. We're not out here trying to overcompensate with mac and cheese and all these fancy sauces. No, simple but done well. Anyway, to the recipe, I'm going to show you how to make this Shack burger exactly like they do it using the exact same ingredients and their special sauce. Now we're not going to waste any time here, we're going to start off with the shack sauce. Starting off with our mayo, we're going to go half a cup, then a tablespoon each of ketchup and mustard. Now you're probably thinking, is this the exact same recipe that I use for my own burgers? Yes, and it's the exact same recipe that everyone else uses for their burgers. It's not like we're copying off each other, it's just burger sauces are made with a mayo, tomato sauce and mustard, and then you mix it up however way you like. But fundamentally, it's going to have these three core ingredients. You can use sweet gherkins, you can use pickles as we're about to use here, you can put in some vinegar, chili powder, whatever you want to make it yours. This is probably a tablespoon and a half of dill pickles that are finely chopped up. That's going to give us some texture and that acidity which is great in a burger sauce. Then we want a quarter teaspoon of paprika. Same thing with garlic powder. It's probably a bit more but oh well. And then just the tiniest pinch of cayenne pepper. This stuff is very strong, so be careful. Give it a mix. And one of the things that I love about using dill pickles is that when you chop it up, all of is that when you chop it up, all of sorry, the fly. <laughs> is that when you chop it up, all of the vinegar comes out, and it allows the special sauce to have a nice runny texture. You don't want it too thick, you know. Now you're probably looking at this thinking, "Wow, this is the exact same as Big Mac sauce and every other special sauce," but trust me, it's very different. Very different. Wow, that's good. Wow, that's actually very good. You know you've made it well when you get little tingly sensations in your jaw there. It's that umami flavor that everyone talks about. That's good. All right, now for the rest of the burger. This is the exact lettuce that they use. It's called coral lettuce. It is pretty hard to find. It's not as easily accessible as your icebergs and other types. But it does look very fancy and in my opinion gives a shack burger its iconic look. Next up, tomato. Any ordinary tomato slice will do well. And finally, one of the most important parts is the Martin's potato roll. They've got a nice sweet texture to them but they're also very spongy. And what they do, they open it up, they slot the ingredients in there and then they close it back up. And yeah, once again, a very, very core cool and important factor for the shake burger. For the shake burger. Shake burger. Exactly, that's all. It's going nowhere. All right. These are very bodgy slices. And for your lettuce, you don't really need to cut it up. Pretty much what you want to do. Rip off a stalk and trim when necessary. This part is a bit, you know, it's not, it's not really uh, too enjoyable. So yeah, just rip it off like that. Give it a fold and there you go. Now, if you guys have seen my content before, you know the rules for smash burgers. Number one, cast iron or steel surface. Number two, you want it fairly hot. And number three, fatty mints. Those three are the triangle that's gonna help you get the perfect smash burger. Yeah, try and And while your grill is warming up, it's the perfect opportunity to toast your buns. Now you want to grab your Marta's potato roll and open it up just like that, but careful not to rip it where they're joined. Then, start to lightly butter it. Put them on our pan for a light toast. And now we crank up the grill and get ready to smash. Now I'm going to use the burger smasher that I sell on my website and that's going to make life so much easier. However, if you don't have one, that's alright. Just use the bottom of a spatula to just press it down like that and it's good enough. This just makes life a bit easier. So now that the grill is smoking, we're ready to smash. Place down our patty. Now with Shack Burgers, they don't smash these completely thin. They leave theirs around a centimetre thick. 
Press down. Hold for five seconds. And you clear. And pull away. We don't want the patty to be too thick. Because at the end of the day, this is how wide our buns are. So you've only got so much room to work with. Then when you see some juices start to bubble through, you then want to flip. There you go. Hit it with a slice of American cheese while you struggle to breathe. This is why you never cook smash burgers inside. Imagine all this smoke going up to your smoke alarm. Back in 2020 when everyone was making smash burgers, I had so many videos of people sending me their smoke alarms go off. It was hilarious but I felt bad. And once you see the cheese begin to melt, you pretty much know that it's cooked inside. Place on the side. Now the grill is pretty dirty after the first time around, so what I like to do is give it a steam clean in between patties. As you can see, it's very clean and that's going to create a perfect smash. Patty number two. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, it is time to assemble. We're going to go in with a touch of our shack sauce. Then we go patty number one. Patty number two. Now for some reason Shake Shack uses two slices of tomato, but that's too much in my opinion. So we're going to go one slice of tomato, our piece of coral lettuce. There you go. Then we're going to go in with a bit more of our lovely Shack sauce. I'm going to try to close this up without ripping it. Okay, it's not working. Listen, I'm going to rip it, but you should try to keep yours intact. Alright, there you go. How beautiful is that? Now, I have not eaten all day in preparation for this one. It's almost too pretty, I don't want to eat it. Oh man. I can already tell it's going to taste like the real deal. That's perfect. That is pretty much spot on. I'm not even joking, it is spot on to Shake Shack. That makes me so happy. Mmm! I'm not even paying it up. This is genuinely, I'd say a 10 out of 10. It's so beautiful. Now honestly, if you guys do not make this burger, you're missing out. My mouth is dirty, but I do not care. You saw how easy it is to make, you saw how I'm reacting, so please give this a go and let me know how you go. Now, while I go enjoy the rest of this burger, I want to say thank you for tuning in. Please drop a like, follow, subscribe, and comment down below what you want me to make next. Thank you.